foolish and unlearned arguments, like those of reprobates, are to be avoided, but wise and honest dialogue is encouraged in order to bring others to Christ, and so that we do not believe foolishly or in vain by not understanding the Christian faith, and fall away like the seeds that fell on stones in the parable of the sower. Honest questions that non-believers might ask, such as the nature and existence of God, why evil takes place if God is omnipotent, omnipotent, and omnipresent. Conflicting passages of the Holy Bible. Such as such as the telling of the of the centurion's servant. along with the resurrection of Christ, among others. The conquest of Canaan, which was worse than the Mongol conquest of the 13th century Anno Domai. And it was even worse than that of the Islamic State in 2014, Anno Domai. The nature of Christ and soteriology, or salvation, if you will, and what makes Christianity and the Holy Bible true, Here. among other, when so many other Books and faiths say the same thing about themselves. In order to persuade non-believers to become Christians, we must answer their questions in honest and humble manners. And in order to do that, we must, we must listen to their questions and not repulse them from the, from the faith by giving them foolish and condescending answers, like the Pharisees in Matthew 23 did. And the best examples of such unchristian conduct in the modern sense comes from slanderous and bombastic street preachers, such as Reuben Israel, who is a brawler who likes to provoke violent confrontations. Really? Have you been that whacked out? What do you think, Superman died for you? Yeah. Do you think Aquaman bled for you? Yeah. I've even heard that some of these comic books have homosexuals. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, no wonder you nerds like those little books. Shame on you. with a real gun. A real bullet comes out and you'd run like a bunch of crybabies. Be a man of God, a woman of God, and get some backbone in you, people. The Bible says, put away childish things, people. You are living like a child. Maybe your parents didn't love you and scold you the way Uncle Reuben is doing today. You need a good tongue lashing. Uh, maybe you're like the Black Lives Matter. Oh, really? How about those babies that are getting the money? Black lives do that. Yeah, what's, what's the money going to do again? What's the money going to do again? Jesus saves all right. 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 Let me maybe uh, give you a different translation. I'm going to quote from the RSV. And for those of you that don't know, that's the Reuben Says Version. And for those of you that don't know, that's the Reuben Says Version. Here's what the Reuben Says Version would read like.
I'm going to punish you people and spread shit on your faces. E My God in heaven, give you breast cancer, and then when you cry out to God, you little whore, God mocks you. God mocks you. May God bless you with a yeast infection, you little slut. Kevin Farr, who is a slanderer. Oh, but what? Do you molest little boys? Are you having sex with little boys? Oh, which is ungodly? You know why? Because the priests, they command you not to get married, and you have lust, and you have perversion. How do I know? My wife was going to be a nun. You kidding? And Angela Cummings who is a stupid and obnoxious jester, who makes a mockery of the Christian faith with her foolish antics, which are condemned by you, by sacred scripture itself. Anybody else ready for Jesus to split open the eastern sky and come back to Jerusalem? There are some amazing acoustics right here. It's hard not to preach, amen. Let me tell you my testimony. My name is Angela. I used to be a crack smoking drunk. Thank you, sir. I used to be a wild, wild woman. Now I'm a wild woman for Jesus, and I am sober. The Bible says be sober-minded. I don't drink anymore. I don't smoke anymore. I don't need to pay for my happiness. I am happy through Jesus. Somebody give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an S. What does that spell? It spells salvation. Happy Yom Kippur. Now for you Playboy Bunny fans, the owner of Playboy magazine is now in hell. I would like to make a drama reenacting when Hugh Hefner died and faced the judgment on the count of three. One, two, ah! Ah! it's so hot down here. Ah! 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 Boys and girls, turn off the porn and get reborn. You don't have to go to hell, though, people. You can be saved. Jesus Christ will save you. Turn to Jesus. Uh oh. I might be in trouble. If you are as disgusted by such unchristian behavior as I am, then make your own video rebuttals, as many others have, because these false brethren need to be exposed and are rebuked because they repulse people from the faith with their slanderous accusations and foolish jesting. And this conduct is, str is strongly condemned in the New Testament.
even though 2 Timothy 3, 16 tells us that all scripture is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. We must not fall into circular reasoning by saying that something is right or wrong, simply because the Holy Bible says so. Because so many other works of religious philosophy and theology have similar sayings, and an atheist or agnostic would 